Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing the problems related to permutations and combination. See here. First question in this session: Find the number of triangles. Find the number of triangles that can be formed with 14 points in a plane of which no three points are collinear. Here, total 14 points are given. Total 14 points are given like this in a plane. And uh, one more condition is uh, out of those 14 points, no three points are collinear. Here, you need to understand the meaning of collinear. Without knowing this particular uh, meaning of this uh, collinear, it is not possible to get the answers. Uh, see, so many students are not knowing this particular uh, thing, uh, particular, you know, word meaning that is the reason why they will leave the problem but the problem is very simple see collinear means collinear means all the points are same line suppose for example if i said uh, three points uh, three points are collinear three points are collinear means uh, these are the three points which are collinear that is on the same line point 1 point 2 and point 3 these three points uh, in the same line these three points in the same line and uh, according to the given condition there is uh, no three points are collinear no three points are collinear in the sense uh, these uh, kind of uh, points are not there in the plane it means uh, let us suppose that i will take a uh, example by taking 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 these are the 14 points which are uh, non collinear points okay by taking these kind of points how many triangles can you able to form first of all to form any triangle we must require how many points 1, 2 and 3. 3 points are required. According to the given condition, no 3 points are collinear. So, we don't have any problem that uh, uh, if the points are collinear, definitely it is not possible to form even a single triangle by using only these 3 points, right? So, you have to be very much careful about this particular point. In this problem, we don't have any problem that uh, no three points are collinear. If no three points are collinear, directly you can select three points out of 14. Selecting three points out of 14. Number of triangles. Number of triangles that are formed, which is equal to 14 C3 triangles. These many triangles are formed. Why? Because out of 14, we need to select three. Selecting 3 points out of 14, which is nothing but 14 C3. Now you can calculate this value. 14 into 13 into 12 divided by 3 into 2 into 1. Right? Here you can cancel with 3 table. 3, 4, sir. And next, 3, 2, sir. After that, 14 into 2, 28. 28 into 13. Here it is uh, 10 times, that is 280. And next 28, 3, sir, 84. You can add these two. You will get 4, 6 and 3. 364. 364 triangles are formed by using 14 points out of which there is no 3 points are collinear according to the condition. Therefore, our required answer is 364. Now, let's see the next question. In the similar pattern, but there is a condition which is different from the previous question. See here, there are 14 points in a plane. There are 14 points. As like previous problem, we have 14 points in a plane out of which 4 points are collinear. 4 points are collinear. It means that these 4 points are on the same line. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you observe and the remaining 10 points are somewhere else like this, uh, these are non-collinear points, okay? No three points are collinear and these are the four points and these are the 
10 uh, remaining 10 points total 14 points out of those 14 points uh, only these four points are collinear if these four po points are collinear definitely we should not form even a single triangle by using only these four points right now first of all without applying any condition number of triangles number of triangles formed by using 14 points which is equal to 14 c3 as like previous problem selecting three points out of 14 without any collinear without any collinear if we want to form a triangle we must require three points as we have total 14 points selecting three points out of 14 which is equal to what 14 c3 base now out of that some triangles will be there from these four points we should not form even a single triangle right you need to subtract that value how many triangles are formed by using only these four points by using four points we can form four c3 triangles we can form four c3 triangles why we want to subtract this 4c3 means uh, because uh, we cannot able to form even a single triangle by using these uh, uh, four points but we counted along with the four, uh, four points how many triangles are formed these are the total number of triangles which are formed by using 14 points but we know that uh, by using these four points we can able to form 4c3 triangles but uh, here these are collinear that is the reason why we should not form even a single triangle that is the reason why we have to subtract uh, 4c3 from this uh, 14c3 as we already calculated in the previous problem 14c3 value is 364 right 364 minus 4c3 4c3 is same as 4c1 which is equal to 4 4 uh, 364 minus 4 which is equal to 360 360 triangles are formed by using 14 points uh, in a plane out of which uh, four points are collinear out of which how many points are collinear four points suppose for example five points are collinear then you need to subtract 5c3 if there are six points are collinear you need to subtract uh, 6 c3 like that uh, you need to calculate the answer by using these kind of problems okay let's move on to the next question see here find the number of uh, quadrilaterals find the number of quadrilaterals that can be formed by joining the vertices of a septagon by the vertices of a septagon Septagon means which is having exactly seven sides. Which is having exactly seven sides. Uh, that is called as a septagon. Now, we need to form a quadrilateral. We need to form quadrilateral. Here, as we know that every quadrilateral is having exactly four sides. Exactly how many sides? Uh, four sides. Uh, selecting four out of uh, seven. Selecting four out of seven that is possible in total seven sides are there out of those we are selecting only four seven c four ways therefore number of quadrilaterals number of quadrilaterals which is equal to seven c four seven c four is equal to seven into six into five into four divided by four into three into two into one here it is uh, 6 into 4, 24 and this one is 24, cancel. 7 into 5 which is equal to 35. 35 quadrilaterals are formed by using uh, uh, the vertices of septagon. Total we are having 7 vertices for septagon and uh, for quadrilateral we are having 4 vertices. Uh, selecting 4 out of uh, uh, 7, that is 7C4. Therefore the required answer is uh, 35. 35 is the required answer for this question. Guys, I hope you understand all the problems. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for watching.